Good morning, everybody. Chris Seventy here with Seventy Investments and co-host of the Good Deeds Note Investing Podcast. Hope you're all doing well today. Today, I wanted to talk about due diligence and get an understanding. What do you consider to be a clean collateral file? So what I mean by that is, let's take a note that you're acquiring, and within the file that's sent to you, what do you look for? First thing you always want to have is the note, the mortgage or deed of trust, the assignment chains. But if it's institutional, which many of them may be, do you also look to or expect to have the original loan file in the fu- in there? Do you expect to have the pay history? Do you expect to have the servicing comments? What is it that you expect? Uh, for me, I expect all that stuff. Uh, similar with a contract for deed. When acquiring a contract for deed, I look for the original application, uh, the deeds uh, transferring from one to the other, the assignment of the seller's interest in the land contracts, as well as the service and comments and the pay history. Uh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned pay history in the mortgage, but those are, for me, those are minimum. For you, what's your minimum? Curious, uh, respond in the comments below, or other things you ask for as well that are recommended or preferred. A few things that come to mind are preservation reports, uh, to see, you know, was the property ever vacant? Uh, would they provide you inside pictures? Will they give you inside access? Uh, I don't think I've ever had anyone provide that, but it's something I've asked for. It, the one thing I'll mention with everyone is it never hurts to ask. You know, ask for everything, get as much as possible. Because at the end of the day, the more collateral and the more information that you have, the better decision making, uh, better decision making you can have on that asset. So thanks for watching today and hope you enjoyed and look forward to catching you on more videos. Thank you and have a good day.